Hey guys, Monty here. Today's video, I just wanted to go over the NZXT uh, Kraken Z73. I didn't mention it um, previously in my uh, 10900K build that I just built recently. I have a video on my channel about that. Um, I am getting really good temperature still with this, uh, overclocked to 5.2 gigahertz, by the way. Um, so I just wanted to go over this. Uh, you can see uh, I did change the face out. You can do that all on the app as well. Uh, I do have the app pulled up right here. Uh, as you see here on the app, I, I do have some uh, different... Uh, different faces I'm able to put on this. Uh, so this was just a gift that I found on Google. Thought it was pretty cool. Pretty silly actually. All right, so um, you know if I want the PC Master Race, I can get that as well. Uh, pretty cool stuff. Anyways, uh, so I was messing around with that. Um, and I just want to go over like what I thought about all this. So like, I think this is cool. I just changed it to dual infographic. So now as you can see here, uh, 10900K at stock and my 10900K, they both show up on the block. And it is not really that cold in here. It's maybe like 70 degrees uh, ambient temperature uh, Fahrenheit. And as you can see here, super low. It is super crazy. Um, so I only have it in the push configuration uh, here in the front of my case. I have a, a Corsair Carbide Air 540. Um, I think I said that right. Corsair Air 540 is what I have. Anyways, uh, so it does fit. It is a little tight. I'm going to remove this case just so you guys can see. Much better. All right. So as you can see here, I'm going to get a light for you guys too. Why not? All right, I do have a light right now, now that you guys can see now. So uh, this little guy up here, this is just for my, um, this is an LED strip, really old one actually that I've had for quite some time. Um, that's what this is right here. Um, I just haven't got around to it. The stickiness kind of stopped uh, being sticky. So uh, it just kind of fell. And whenever I did my new build on here, I went ahead and... Uh, and just removed it. I had to connect everything, reconnect everything all over again. So as you hear, I'm using the stock NZXT fans. One, two, three. Those are the, I believe, uh, what is this? Uh, this is a 380 red, 360 red, I think. I'm, I don't know. I don't know all the specs of that. But um, I have three of the fans that came with the NZXT. Those are all hooked up NZXT style to um, to the block. And I believe the uh, to these guys right here, the connectors. So it's all controlled by the cam software, right? So as you can see here, 10 900K, I'm at 29 uh, degrees. And that's those are the uh, what I have set up. Another cool app that I've been using also is the CPU Info. Really killer. I'm surprised I wasn't using it previously. I've been using the CPU monitor, but it's just not... Uh, it, it, it just wasn't as is informative right so this thing kind of goes over everything right so um, 5.2 is what it shows current right and temperatures is just like stupid low like this is just crazy really really crazy um still holding uh that's what's uh that's what's strange about it. so 28 right 28 is what it says 28 29 yeah that's about right um so yeah, no, definitely killer setup. Uh, it was it was definitely expensive. I kind of screwed myself because I didn't price match it from uh, Micro Center. Would have saved me like thirty bucks. But um, yeah, definitely get this cooler if you want the ten nine hundred K or pretty much any CPU. You want it to be ice cold. I'm using the uh, stock thermal paste on the uh, that came on the block as well because I was just lazy. And as you can see here, it's performing shoots performing just as good as if I did it myself right so did buy some Arctic Silver 5 it's just unfortunate I didn't get to use it um, I just wanted to hurry up and get this in there and get it overclocked but as you can see here I am at 5.2 gigahertz uh, I'm at I believe 1355 voltage um, but yeah 29 um, stock and then whenever I do go under load uh, it only goes to like 50 maybe 60 max uh, so super cold um, but yeah that's the setup it's just a Z73 um, I just wanted to talk about it a little bit more because I'm just still surprised by how great the CPU cooler like cools this CPU like that's just crazy to me um, it almost feels like it's not real it's because it's so low um, but you know it just works it's again it is pricey uh, I think it's $2.99 I paid at Micro Center before tax like $3.30 maybe so definitely super expensive I mean don't get me wrong I'd love to go fully exotic liquid cooling but I mean between work and family it's i don't get a whole whole ton of time on it so i didn't want to have I, I more or less wanted something to have maintenance free right so i didn't want to have to really mess with it and i've been using aios for a while I haven't really had any problems with it um 
you know, no leaks, nothing. I mean, up here, I was checking this out here, a uh, little nipple right here. Um, seems to be solid. I don't see any play or anything in it. I mean, it seems, seems solid, right? So um, temperatures and everything's been fine. No weird fluctuations or anything. The CPU uh, the CPU blocks um, tightened on there um, correctly. Um and then yeah, so this is the uh, this other this other NZXT. I think it's an X forty three forty four or something. And then this is a Kraken uh, G twelve. Uh, so definitely a fan of the NZXT stuff for sure. Um, definitely impressed with the coolers. I like the coolers more than I like Corsair coolers. Um, the software is what has it in my opinion. Um, that and the uniformity of it. It's just kind of it just looks great. It is it definitely is expensive for sure. Um, but uh, if you got the money to splurge, or if we get another one of them stimulus. Uh, checks and definitely go out and buy one. Um, so yeah, I mean this is this is a pretty solid uh, setup, and like I said, um, keeps the keeps everything nice and cold. Um, you know, no problems with it. So definitely, if you do got a 10900K, if you got anything that uh, you're you're concerned about and you want to cool and you just want to make sure it cools and you got the money to spend, I'd get the NZXT. It's because, uh, you know, I have not had any problems. I'll go play Warzone for two hours straight, uh, Call of Duty Warzone, and, you know, my temperatures don't even hit 60 Celsius. Uh, the, the graphics card will hit 60 by itself, but that's about the max it'll hit. Um, and I'll look at my CPU utilization, and it's pretty high, um, you know, 70, 80% all cores. But then again, it goes to show you that how far these coolers came and i know they did say they did a redesign on these um i don't really know a whole lot about the the engineering or the mechanics of it but i would say that it's pretty damn good um you know like i said 29 30 celsius idle uh, dipping down to the 28s and then also like i said full load um you know it's less than 60 that's crazy to me uh so i'm definitely definitely uh you know i'm just happy about this purchase right so this is like this was a good purchase it's expensive but you know, between working overtime, thankfully during this pandemic, and getting a stimulus check, you get to splurge a little, right? So um, that's the setup. Like I said, that's my 2080 Ti. Um, this thing keeps it ice cold. Um, both of these coolers together, and as you can hear it, it's not really that loud, right? So it's it's audible wise, like it's you know you hear it a little bit, but it's fine. It does ramp up from time to time, but you know, like I said, from what I'm seeing here. I'm definitely loving the temperatures, and I'm loving the um, the uh, 5.2 gigahertz as well. That's what's cool about it. So, anyways, if you guys have any questions about it, just let me know in the comments. Um, didn't want to go through like if I receive. I'm gonna repaste that GPU paste down there. Um, that'll be a, a, a good video by itself. I haven't did that. This has been like this ever since I got this 2080 Ti. So maybe a year old. Uh, let me see if I could see exactly. And so I can't really see that, but. Um, you know, that's, that is something I'd like to rep replace. I don't think I did liquid metal. I did a 8700K video a couple while back, um, but I, I don't remember if I reseeded the thermal paste on this 29, uh, 2080 Ti or not. Anyways, it doesn't matter. Um, that's probably what I'll do. I'll probably reseed all that. I want to tidy up all these cables down here. I, I just wanted something functional since I didn't really have a whole lot of free time between work and family. I just wanted to get everything functional up and running. So uh, I'll go ahead and see if I can get some of that tidied up. Uh, I need to sell, uh, sell some sleeves, some kind of sleeve or something I could put all those cables in. But um, yeah, no, definitely solid build. Um, definitely do recommend the uh, Z73 um, NZXT Kraken. Uh, it's definitely a must buy. This infograph right here, it's it's like the best thing ever. Uh, I, I know, like I said, price wise, it's expensive, but you know, if I have to say something, it's 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 pretty awesome, right? So um, definitely, uh, <laughs> if, if there's anything that you want to add some bling to it, you want to add this. It's because between the temperature cooling, I mean, that's really what I'm most surprised by. Still, like to this day, it's it's so good. But besides that, you're able to change everything, right? So I can go ahead and here I can change it to just if I want to show. I'm gonna shut this light off. If I just want to show CPU temperature, I could just show that. I can have that showing. Um, you, it's all in here. Uh, all the settings are in here, and the uh, cams software um you know you can change this if i want to do a full fill i can do a full fill where it just shows it's probably gonna be really really blown out there there we go um you can do that uh there's so much you could do with this i mean it's just endless um you want to look at your liquid temperature 25 um you know gpu temperature 
So I had, I did have it fluctuating between GPU and CPU, but I didn't realize up here there was this option called dual infographic. Cause this kind of had a dirt moment. And then whenever I clicked on it, I was like, okay, well then that shows me both of uh, the temperatures. That, oh, that's all I really care about. I just want to see both of them, uh, be able to look to the side, be able to see the temperatures while I'm gaming. And that's kind of like, yeah, it's nice having the software run in the background, like the CPU info, because I'm able to see exactly, uh, or hardware info, I'm able to see everything that happens in the background. Um, but, uh, you know, to have this, being able to just glance over to the tower and look while I'm gaming, it's pretty awesome. So yeah, definitely, um, definitely check this out. It looks like CPU load too. I don't think I've ever used that before. That's pretty neat. So I'm able to see the CPU load on the um, Kraken as well. Uh, okay, GPU load. That's interesting. Yeah, so I haven't really messed around with a whole lot of this. I just did the dual infographic. I just found out actually about that. I was poking through the settings. I think I practically had it on carousel. Um, this whole time, which just shows um, liquid GPU and CPU temperatures. But yeah, you're able to change all of that in here. Um, clock speed was kind of cool. Shows me my clock speed going up and down. Um, you care about all that. That's pretty cool. Uh, I did have it running for a while, but, um, you know, like I said, I, I like the dual infographic. I like seeing just the temperatures, but um, I do still have to do some fine tuning on the 5.2 gigahertz. It's because it does jump around a little. I can get it to stay, turn off speed step and all that. I'm, I'm still going to mess with it. I'm not like a pro overclocker or anything. I just literally watched a couple YouTube videos, figured it out myself, but um, I definitely want to tighten everything up per se. And also I did buy uh, G skill bead I RAM, so I definitely want to overclock that. Um, it's C16 3600. You can Google bead I finder and that'll pop up. I just have 32 gigs, but I definitely want to see if I can overclock that to get some tighter timings. Uh, and or megahertz boost so uh, definitely impressed with it for sure if you guys are looking for a cpu cooler for your 10 900k uh, or any other cpu definitely look at the kraken z73 it's because this thing uh, this thing is awesome it keeps everything ice cold as you can see um, and it, it's just really sleek it just looks good it's it's new tech and it's got that screen on it and that's what's awesome so anyways hope you guys like the video um, like subscribe down below uh, have any questions for me go ahead and ask uh, go ahead and put them down there in the comment section. I'll go ahead and respond. I'm pretty good at responding. Anybody that's interested, I got uh, I got camera uh, camera gear. I just picked up a6400. I'm um, in with these Sigma lenses. I also have a, a Ronin SC I just got that's pretty neat um, as well. And then, like I said, I just built this uh, I just built this 10900K system. I actually just upgraded it for my 8700K system. And also, I have a 16-inch uh, MacBook Pro. Um, I do Mac stuff as uh, as a job. So uh, interesting stuff on that. I just got the beta and whatnot. So that's pretty neat um, for the uh, 10 1016 or you know Mac OS 11. Sorry. Uh, Big Sur. Um, I, I just got that. I've been playing around with that, so maybe I'll make a big video. Uh, maybe I'll make a video on the Big Sur, which would be pretty cool. But uh, anyway, so hope you guys like the video. Uh, like I said, like, subscribe down below. Uh, any questions, throw them in the comments. I'll go ahead and respond to them. Thanks for watching.